As you heard our chase guys indicate, uh, they did see tornado damage in a rural area, uh, not too far from Alabama Highway 195 back in Winston County with trees and uh, some live power lines down. And uh, once again, uh, this is that uh, rain-free base and the associated wall cloud coming off the uh, Coleman Sky Cam. We're going to stay with this shot. For those of you listening on 97.3, we do not want anybody traveling on Interstate 65 from uh, the city limits of Coleman up to the uh, morning. The storm did, uh, uh, I take that back, this is from the new storm coming into Lamar County. We've got some reports of trees and power lines down uh, on the Alabama-Mississippi state line. We also need to point out there are severe thunderstorm warnings in uh, West Alabama for counties like uh, Lamar and Marion. But again, we're focusing on this one storm because this is the most dangerous storm of all of them. We have a tornado warning now for northern Coleman County. We have a unique view of this uh, storm. This is a wall cloud back on the right rear flank of the storm coming from our sky cam in uh, Coleman. The vantage point is from the water treatment facility, which is just east of downtown on US-2. 78, a great spot. Cameras up high. watching this together. Uh, no tornado so far. Uh, and uh, you rarely get a great view like this. And the reason we're locked on this view is simply because uh, uh, if we're going to have something down, we'll see it from that uh, from that particular vantage point. Uh, we have a tornado warning for northern Coleman County and for Morgan County. And we advise everybody to be off the highway, off Interstate 65, off US 31. And uh, let's kind of keep panning over here. Let's don't let that uh, get out of the shot, Ashley B. We'll uh, pan that to the right. Next round, and based on that camera view, because as you're looking north and northwest from Highway 278, you're looking across up toward uh, the big food silo. I think exit 310 is going to be okay. We think that intersection with Alabama 157 is going to be okay. And this will be north of Coleman Regional Medical Center and north of most of the city of Coleman still. In the northwest edge of the city limits, we have that indication of a tornado. We're watching the wall part of Coleman. Across up toward uh, the big feed silo on I think exit 310 is going to be okay. We think that it across up toward uh, the big feed silo on I think exit 310 is going to be okay. We think that intersection with Alabama 157 is going to be okay. And this will be north of Coleman Regional Medical Center and north of most of the city of Coleman. Still, in the northwest edge of the city limits, we have that indication of a tornado. We're watching the wall part of Coleman County. Uh, we also need to mention while we're looking at this, we do have severe thunderstorm warnings for Lamar and Marion. Until 2.15, there are no other tornado warnings in the state. The reason we're focusing on this, but I'll tell you what, if we can do a double box, maybe Monroe with the uh, sky cam in one box and the radar in the other, I'd like to uh, just quickly look at the big picture so everybody uh, elsewhere can see what's happening. Uh, that's the storm right there that you're watching. Uh, the Coleman County storm on the radar, and we'll watch this whole thing together. And again, you're watching the wall cloud live from our Coleman sky cam in the secondary box uh, right there. Again, you can see a classic hail shaft, that uh, wall cloud uh, is crossing over Interstate 65 right now, and uh, that is moving up here into Morgan County, up here in the vicinity of Eva. Winston County, that storm I just told 